Can you think of a situation in your life where, in the heat of the moment, you felt all alone? Maybe you felt like God was far away, but when you looked back, you realized that God was with you every step of the way, that he was close and present. Learning to seek God through the difficult seasons of life is an important part of the Christian journey, and it's one we often can't do alone. We need to support each other and pray for God to bring His peace and wisdom to challenging situations. In fact, many of our brothers and sisters in Christ are in need of prayer today. There are more than 360 million Christians around the world that face high levels of persecution and discrimination simply because they choose to follow Jesus. Persecution isn't only violence. It's also pressure that could be applied to every area of life. Some are kicked out of their homes and turned away by their families. Some have their houses searched and get interrogated. Some are arrested and spend years in prisons away from their families. Churches get attacked and destroyed. People are threatened by their communities. Some get kidnapped and held in isolation. Some live under constant watch, forced to keep their faith a secret. Like in Afghanistan, for example. Afghanistan is the most dangerous place in the world for Christians to live. Almost every Christian there is a secret believer. If a new Christian's faith is discovered, they can be disowned by their family and community, or even killed in the name of honor. Many believers are forced to flee the country, leaving everything they have behind. Christians in Nigeria face the most violent persecution. While all citizens of northern Nigeria face threats and violence, Christians are often specifically targeted by extremist groups because of their faith. They live their lives under constant threat of attack, and kidnappings are becoming more common. And an attack could happen at any point of their everyday lives without warning. Each one of these persecuted Christians are part of the same body of Christ that we are part of. Their experiences impact them deeply, and they, like us, need reminders of God's closeness. For this year's International Day of Prayer for the Persecuted Church, will you join us in prayer? Let's pray for our persecuted family to be reminded that they are not abandoned by God or His Church, that they are persecuted but not forsaken, struck down but not destroyed not abandoned.